विद्या प्रकाशन मंदिर प्राइवेट लिमिटेड हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस लर्न जनरल साइंस फॉर क्लास सिक्स फ्रॉम द बुक साइंस स्क्वायर चैप्टर थ्री सेपरेशन ऑफ सब्सटेंसेस इन दिस चैप्टर वी शेड डिस्कस अबाउट प्योर सब्सटेंसेस मिक्सचर्स टाइप्स ऑफ मिक्सचर्स द नीड for separating components of the mixture various methods included in the separation and about water filtration plant let us begin the chapter in daily life we use a variety of materials such as air milk fruits and grains which contain more than one substances so milk fruits and grains all contain more than one substances air is a mixture of various gases such as nitrogen oxygen etc however we separate the components of some of the materials before we use for example we remove husk from the grains we remove mud from the muddy water before using pure substances a substance which is made up of the same kind of molecules is called a pure substance all elements such as iron copper oxygen gold and compounds such as sugar salt water carbon dioxide etc are pure substances these are iron all are iron so it is same kind of molecule copper the entire wire is a copper these are gold each has definite characteristics property which will be different for different substances for example the property of sugar such as taste are different from those of common salt a pure substance has same property throughout its bulk fixed melting and boiling points and definite density that is a substance a pure substance will be the same will possess the same property throughout entire substance it has fixed melting and boiling points and the weight does not change mixtures when a substance is made up of two or more components it is known as mixture or impure substance that is the picture shows different colors different colors as different components of the substance a mixture has different properties that is different colors throughout its bulk different melting and boiling points that is each of the color will be having different different melting and the boiling points each color will be having different weight or density types of mixtures mixtures are classified into two types based on the distribution as homogeneous in which a mixture in which all the components are evenly distributed throughout the mixture it is known as homogeneous mixture example a mixture of salt or sugar in water you cannot see sugar or salt when it gets mixed with water a mixture of two or more miscible liquids air soda water soda has been mixed with the water soft drinks etc 
heterogeneous mixture a mixture in which all the components are unevenly distributed is known as heterogeneous mixture examples a mixture of sugar and the sand we can clearly see the difference in the mixture as sand and sugar a mixture of two or more miscible liquids types of mixtures mixtures are classified into two types based on their distribution as homogeneous mixture it is a mixture in which all the components are evenly distributed throughout the mixture is known as homogeneous mixture example a mixture of sugar or salt in a water in this we cannot see sugar or salt mixed in water a mixture of two or more miscible liquids miscible means soluble two liquids soluble with each other air soda water in which soda has been mixed with water soft drinks etc heterogeneous mixture a mixture in which all the components are unevenly distributed is known as heterogeneous mixture example a mixture of sugar or sand a mixture of two or more immiscible that is insoluble liquids flour in water a mixture of salt and sand the picture shows the mixture of salt and sand in which we can clearly differentiate the salt and sand are mixed together we could see the both components whereas in homogeneous component we could able to see only the water and not sugar and salt in soda water we could see water but not soda whereas in heterogeneous mixture we could see both the components sugar and salt and sand components of some mixtures brass it is a solid in state and brass is a mixture of copper and zinc soil it is a solid in state and it contains sand clay salts remains of plants and animals etc gunpowder is a solid in state which contains sulfur nitre coal milk is a liquid which contains water sugar fat proteins minerals soda water is a liquid it contains water carbon dioxide gas and water pond water is a liquid state which contains water soluble salts suspended clay particles sugar cane juice contains is a liquid state contains sugar water minerals etc see our saline water is a liquid which contains many salts mainly of common salt and water smoke we can see the gaseous state contains air and carbon particles air is a mixture is a gas which is a mixture of nitrogen oxygen inert gases carbon dioxide and water vapor remember brass gunpowder soda water smoke air thoroughly what is the need for separating components of a mixture to remove undesirable components that is we need to remove the under, undesirable constituents such as minute dust particles germs from river and canal water to obtain a clean water to get a pure substance we can remove all harmful impurities from the substances to be used as a medicine in pharmaceutical industries to obtain a pure substances to recover useful substances we recover sodium chloride from sea so that it can be used as a common salt to remove a harmful component we want to remove harmful constituents 
such as unburnt carbon and harsh particles from smoke in chimney so we need to separate the components of a mixture to remove undesirable components to get a pure substances to recover useful substances to remove harmful component let us learn about the physical methods of separation we need to separate harmful and useless and useful components from the substances the principle of separation is that the different components will have different properties hence the methods used to separate the components depend on the type of mixture and its component the separation of mixtures will be solid from solid insoluble solid from liquids soluble solids from liquids let us learn how to separate solid solid mixtures winnowing hand picking sieving magnetic separation washing and sublimation we know in the process of separating grains from chaff and hay is called winnowing the chaff and grains are separated when the threshed mixture is allowed to fall from a height along a natural breeze the man carrying the mixture in a plate is allowed to fall the mixture from a particular height and the wind which is a natural breeze separates the husk and the wheat that is chaff and the grains the grains being heavier fall straight to the ground while the light chaff is blown by the breeze little far away the winnowing is done with the help of fans also when natural breeze is not available hand picking this method is used only when one of the component present is small quantity and is large or when the components of the mixture are of different color size or shape so hand picking depends on the shape color size and the quantity of the one component housewife often remove undesirable substances such as pebbles from wheat rice and pulses by hand picking sieving this method is used to separate the components of a mixture which are of different sizes the undesirable materials are separated from the grains by using a sieve when the wheat flour is passed through the sieve the small particles pass through the sieve while the biggest particles known as bran remain on the sieve so generally the undesirable materials are separated from the mixture by using the sieve wheat is passed through the sieve leaves a bigger particles known as bran on the sieve itself the size of the holes of this leaves depends on the size of the particles of the materials to be separated magnetic separation in this method the magnetic substances are separated from the non magnetic substances using a magnet magnetic substances like iron nickel and cobalt can be separated from sand using a magnet the iron fillings stick to the magnet while sand does not in factories scrap iron is separated from the heap of waste materials by using strong electric magnets fixed to a crane in factories you can see 
magnetic substances scrap ions are kept in the heap of waste materials a crane carrying a strong electric magnet pulls up certain ion scraps easily off at some places a magnetic roller in which the mixture is put on a belt moving over a magnetic roller you can see a magnetic roller moving on a belt over a in which iron and sand mixtures can be separated by moving the mixture on the magnetic roller the magnetic particles are attracted by the roller and fall on a separate heap separating the non magnetic particles washing and sublimation impurities lighter than water are removed by this method when pulses are put into water the husk shells or infested grains etc begins to float on the water while the pulses settle down the layer of water with impurities is removed sublimation is a process in which a solid on heating changes directly into gaseous form without melting this method is used for separation of solid compounds which sublimes on heating from a non volatile solid that is which do not evaporate while gaseous substance is cooled to get the pure solid that is the solid compounds which are volatile on heating gets converted into gaseous form while the non volatile solid particles remains as such the gaseous form when cooled we obtain solid examples of solid which sublime on heating includes ammonia chloride camphor naphthalene and iodine let us perform an activity for understanding sublimation procedure step 1 take a half teaspoon full of ammonium chloride and common salt in a china dish keep it on a sand bath with an inverted glass funnel on the china dish as shown in the figure you can see the sand bath in which we have placed a china dish inside the china dish is a ammonium chloride and common salt covered with a inverted glass funnel and closed with a cotton plug the heat, when the uh, china dish is heated the fumes starts coming out of the mixture the plug plug the opening of the funnel with a piece of cotton the vapor rises and condenses on cooler part of the funnel stop heating and allow it to cool what you will see is that white pure ammonium chloride gets deposited on the funnel and the non volatile salt will be in the china dish so we can say ammonium chloride is a volatile substance while the common salt is non volatile so ammonium chloride gets converted into a gaseous form which on cooling becomes white pure ammonium chloride solid separation of insoluble solid liquid mixtures coagulation sedimentation decantation and filtration these methods are used to separate solid and liquid mixtures sedimentation and decantation 
the process of settling down of heavy insoluble particles in a mixture of water is called sedimentation the process of transferring clear liquid after sedimentation without disturbing the sediment etc insoluble heavy particle is called decantation that is when the heavy insoluble particles present in the mixture settles down we call it as a sedimentation now the water is transferred after sedimentation without disturbing the sediment that is without disturbing the heavy insoluble heavy so insoluble particle which has been settled we we'll call it as a decantation this method is adopted to separate heavy insoluble solid substances from a liquid when the soil particles and water mixed in a beaker is allowed to stand for some time what happens we can get a supernatant liquid that is decantation process that transfer the clear that is known as supernatant liquid that liquid which is obtained after sedimentation is known as supernatant liquid the mud particles settle at the bottom of the beaker leaving the clear water at the top the clear water is transferred into another beaker without disturbing the mud particles using a glass rod decantation decantation is also used for separation of two immiscible that is insoluble liquids such as water and oil in which one is heavier than the other the mixture is poured in the separating funnel using a burette burette is nothing like a brass rod then it is allowed to stand for some time the immiscible liquids form two clear distinct layers the liquid forming the lower layers is drained off by opening the stop cock of the funnel so when you on the stop cock if you open the water flows down into the beaker and you can control the kerosene oil by stopping or closing the stop clock coagulation in the river or canal water the dirt particles are not heavy enough to settle easily in such cases some chemical such as alum is added to the water the dissolved particles of alum load the fine clay particles making the clay particles heavier and allow it to settle down so in river or canal water the dirt particles are made heavier by using alum and is allowed to settle down then the clear water can be easily separated by decantation the process of improving the settling property of solid particles by adding special chemicals such as alum is called coagulation or loading alum is called coagulating agent filtration this method is used for separating insoluble solids from the liquids by using a filter a piece of cotton a layer of sand a piece of muslin cloth or a piece of filter paper can be used as a filter in order to filter on large scale other porous materials such as charcoal cotton glass wood and unglazed porcelain are used
Nowadays, the drinking water at home is filtered through a special filter pad which retains suspended impurities and bacteria. Let us perform an activity for understanding filtration. Take a filter paper and fold it to a semicircle. Fold it again once more. Make a cone by opening it in such a way that three folds on one side and one fold on the other. Fit the cone in the funnel. As shown in the figure. Place the funnel on the funnel stand in such a way that the step of the funnel should touch the side of the beaker. Place the clean beaker below the funnel. Pour the muddy water into the funnel with the help of a glass rod. You will notice that a pure water will pass through the filter paper and will be collected in a beaker. So we can see the filtration is taking place with the help of a filter paper which has been folded in such a way it fits to the funnel. The funnel is fitted to a stem. The funnel is fitted to the stand. And the stem of the funnel is in touch with the beaker. So, when the muddy water is poured through the filter paper, it passes through the filter paper and only the clean water is obtained in the beaker. Solid impurities will be left on the cone itself. Separation of soluble solids from liquids. Evaporation. Centrifugation, crystallization, distillation, fractional distillation, evaporation. Evaporation is used to separate solids dissolved in a liquid. This method is used to separate common salt from water. The solution is taken in a big flat dish in the sun. The water slowly evaporates. Common salt is left behind in the container. Evaporation can be made quicker by heating the solution. Common salt is obtained from sea water. Sea water or lake water is filled in shallow beds. Water evaporates by the heat of the sun. Salt remains on the bed. Centrifugation. It is a process by which fine insoluble solids are removed from a liquid solid mixture using a machine called centrifuge which rotates at a high speed. The machine which you see in the diagram is a centrifuge. At high speed of the machine, the solids are pushed towards the wall of the machine and the liquid remains at the center thereby separating the mixture. That is milk cream will be has a two layers cream from a milk can be separated by centrifugation method crystallization when hot solution of substance is cooled the crystals of the pure substance separates out and the impurities are left in the solution this process is called crystallization that is when a saturated solution is hot and 
getting cold the crystals of pure substance get separated out and impurities are left back in the solution itself let us perform an activity to understand crystallization take a beaker and fill it with about half with water add some alum powder in it and heat the solution continue to add alum powder till it stops dissolving now filter the hot solution into your beaker using a filter paper allow the beaker to cool so you are going to take a beaker you are filling it with a half with water now we are going to add a piece of alum powder continue to add until it gets dissolved then heat the solution then we are going to use a filter paper and convert it to a beaker and allowing it to cool what happens you can see that crystals of alum are formed the powder becomes crystal drying them on a filter paper we can see the crystals clearly distillation distillation is a process of evaporation followed by condensation this method is employed for the separation of a liquid from non volatile impurities purest form of water is obtained by distillation of water the distillation apparatus have three parts namely distillation flask condenser that is water condenser and the receiver impure liquid containing non volatile impurities is taken in the distillation flask on heating the liquid changes into vapors which is passed through the condenser so in the picture you can see that sea water has been taken in the distillation flask which on heating changes into vapors is passed through the condenser the condenser is a long glass tube surrounded by a wider tube through which water is circulated the vapors condense in the condenser tube and changes into liquid you will notice that the liquid is collected in the receiver non volatile substance remains in the distilled flask fractional distillation this process is also used to separate two liquids which are miscible at different temperatures alcohol boils at 80 degrees celsius while water boils at 100 degrees celsius when a mixture of alcohol and water is heated alcohol boils first as its temperature is lesser than water the water is remains left behind this process is called fractional distillation combination of all most of the methods together in some cases of separation of substances we have to combine several methods which we learnt now the common salt obtained from sea water is purified by the combination of various methods it is crushed dissolved in water filtered evaporated and then crystallized thus we get pure salt chapter recap a pure substance is the same is made up of same kind of molecules it has fixed melting and the boiling points with definite density an impure substance is a mixture mixtures may be heterogeneous or homogeneous the purpose of separation is to remove an undesirable component 
to obtain a useful component. The components of the mixtures are separated by one method or by combination of various methods. Selection of a method depends on the characteristic property of the component to be separated. There are various methods to separate the components of a mixture. In order to separate substances, we use some property of the constituent which other do not possess. This ends the chapter 3. Vidya Prakashan Mandir Private Limited.